Good morning, magandang umaga po. Uh, I have a quick update. Uh, actually, it's a clarification coming from the Bureau of Immigration. This is not official in a sense that I found it in the uh, website of the uh, Department of uh, uh, Foreign Affairs or the Bureau of Immigration, but this was published in the newspaper in the Philippines yesterday. Very, very important. So, uh, stay with me. Let's get on with it. The Bureau of Immigration wanted to clarify uh, what was issued as a pronouncement to allow citizens and former citizens and some dependents of the foreign citizen for the holidays in the Philippines is starting December 7th. That's December 7th is when this becomes effective. Uh, there were some vague issues and to some degree I still have some questions and I'll go through it with you as I go through the pronouncement, so stay with me very closely and we are going to analyze each word or each sentence that they're saying, okay? Here goes. The Bureau of Immigration on Tuesday said foreign spouses and children of Filipino citizens may be barred from entering the Philippines if they are not traveling with or joining their Filipino loved ones who are in the country. Okay, several people asked me questions and I said, no, the pronouncement said they should be traveling with you. So this will clarify that. Immigration Commissioner Jaime Morante uh, said the government wants foreigners to reunite with their families in the Philippines. But this, but this purpose is not met if the foreigner comes in when the spouse or children are not here. What does that mean? You're coming from the States, you want to go back to the Philippines and you claim your wife's in the Philippines and blah, blah, blah. Uh -uh. They better be there because if your wife or, or, or dependent or children, a citizen children or former citizen children are away, let's say they're in Japan, you cannot go to the Philippines. So they want to make sure you're coming back either with them or even without them, and that is important, okay, even without them. So let's, let's continue on. If the Filipino or former Filipino is not traveling with a foreigner or is not in the country, their arriving dependents may be denied entry. So they don't necessarily, this means they don't necessarily have to be traveling with you, but they have to be in the Philippines. Uh, the intent of the relaxed restriction for Balik Bayan is to allow families to reunite this holiday season. Apart from those exempted by IATF, others who will be entering under a tourist status will still not be allowed, allowed, the immigration chief said in a statement. So, two things here. One, if you want to come in as a tourist because, uh, gee, you know, my, uh, uh, my girlfriend is in the Philippines, she will not be allowed. Okay? Number two, looks like this was done for you to be able to reunite with your family during the holidays. What does that mean? After the holidays, they may, I said may, they may cut it off again. So, uh, some people are asking, is this permanent now or is this just uh, through the holidays? Well, that is, that is what they're saying now. Hopefully, they will not, but they may. The Bureau of Immigration announced over the weekend that it will resume granting visa-free entry privilege, privileges to tourists falling under Balikbayan program starting December 7. Balikbayans and their spouses and children are allowed visa-free entry under Executive Order Number 408, the BI said. They can stay in the country for one year without applying for entry visa. Okay? One year. Uh, some people also ask for how long, so there's your answer. But they must be traveling with a Filipino or former Filipino. Well, again, that was clarified to mean that your uh, dependents or spouse and children should be in the Philippines, but not necessarily traveling with you. The BI said inbound Balikbayans have to come from visa-free countries. That means there are some countries uh, that will not be allowed. Uh, what that is, maybe it's in the internet, but uh, most of the people watching this uh, 
video is from the US anyway uh, uh, and they they have to be uh, booked a, a quarantine facility and COVID-19 testing at a laboratory op operating at the airport they will be subject to the maximum capacity of inbound passengers on their date of entry okay here's another one dependents who are not traveling with a Filipino but are joining them in the country may enter but minor de now when, when they say dependents I assume they're also talking about the spouse okay minor dependents will have to get an entry visa okay now this is important even though they say it's visa free if it's a minor you have to get an entry visa from the Philippine post abroad meaning that it's not going to be issued at the, when you when you land in the Philippines you have to get it before you leave the country before you leave the US all right and uh, I think the reason for that is uh, they want to make sure that the uh, uh, child you have with you is really your child so they need to make sure that it gets investigated while in the US not when you arrive in the Philippines uh, Foreign parents of minor Filipinos have also to secure a, an entry visa. So if you are uh, a, uh, let's say, foreigner and you want to visit your uh, child in the Philippines and he's a minor, you also have to get an entry visa so that differences could be resolved while you are in the U.S., not while you are in the Philippines. Other inbound travel restrictions remain in effect, the BI said. This article, Immigration, clarifies entry rules for foreign spouses, children of Filipino. Uh, and it was originally published in GMA News Online, uh, and I think that was yesterday. That's good. I still have some questions, though. How do you prove, okay, if you're coming in and you need to bring, let's say, a foreign, foreign spouse is coming in, you need to bring with you the marriage certificate to prove that you are married okay so that's easy if, if you don't have it now maybe you can have your wife email you a copy or fax a copy and I assume the immigration is going to accept that because who carries their marriage certificate anywhere and everywhere you go not many people do that so you may not have it with you so I assume they will accept a an email copy copy okay of the uh, marriage certificate also maybe bring with you a copy if you don't have the original if you have the original always bring the original if you don't a copy of the birth certificate of your wife to know that she is Filipina okay or passport if she has a Philippine passport uh, now the issue is how do they know so suppose I'm in Japan uh, let's say suppose your spouse is in Japan they send you all this paperwork how, how, how does the Philippines know that your wife is really in the Philippines Good question this is what I would suggest maybe before you leave the Philippines a day or two uh, put up a newspaper dated a popular newspaper dated and make a photocopy of it then of course you'll be traveling it takes 24 hours while you are on the air ask your wife again to take a uh, another picture with a more current date email it so when you arrive in the Philippines you can retrieve the email if they ask for it and I don't know if they will or not if they ask for it at least you have some proof here my wife is in Manila in Davao in Cebu wherever you're going so uh, that's what I would suggest you do but again this is clarification but they still need to clarify again uh, about those things and I don't know if they will or not but this is what I would suggest to my viewers if you enter the Philippines in this scenario I will appreciate it if you can share with the viewers by putting a comment uh, down below on how you were able to get in, what kind of proof you presented. So as the day goes on, uh, people will know or will be guided by, by what needs to be done. All right. So please do share this with uh, other people uh, who might be interested in this or going back to the Philippines. And uh, I will appreciate it if you can like this video and please do subscribe unless you have already done so. Thank you so much and make it a great day.